Hello, Truth and Love Nation. Here we are to let's talk about it. And ma'am, what did you think about Blaze today? Oh man, Blaze, it, it was a flow through from the prayer this morning and then Blaze just, like they always do, they caught it and they took us to the next step. Exciting stuff today. Excite. Blaze was a Blaze as usual. Yes. And now we're in the soil testing series. Soil testing series has been pretty, um, I mean, last last week when we did Stuck in a Rut, that was really, that was pretty good. That, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's, it's all, all good. But today, I think when he was talking about um, that the soil is really your heart, right. out of all the years that I've heard this parable, and as many times as I've, I've heard it preached, I don't know if I remember or if I ever caught, and, and even if I did, Today reminded me that the soil is my heart. It's yep. actually my heart, the condition of my heart. So that was a, a good revelation today for me to say, you know, try, test. So this is really, instead of it being soul testing, it's really today, I really learned today, it's really heart testing, heart testing. So I thought that was good today to, to be able to, to say it's my heart. And check your heart, check your heart. Check your heart. Check your heart. The title of the message today. Yeah. Let him rock your world. Uh. And this ain't talking about Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> no, not not the rock, that rock, but the rock. Not the that rock. rock, but the rock. Let, yep. And, I, you know, the, the play on words, you know, I was like, okay, let him rock your world. We know the, the parable was talking about the rocks causing difficulties. In the ground? Yeah, in yep. the ground, how the rocks cause difficulty in the ground. But then at the end, he twisted it, and he said, let him rock. He being rock, Jesus being the rock. That was good to me. I was like, oh, oh, that was good to me. Let him rock, the rock, your world. That was good. Amen. I don't know if, I don't know if that was the purpose, but that's what I got. I, I received that. <laughs> amen. Amen. We got. I got all those. Amen. Help yes, me, Lord. Lord. Help me. All those. All those. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal word on today. Phenomenal word on today. And then, yeah, for, for me, I mean, that, that was a good one, too. The soil being you, your mm -hmm, heart. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the reason Jesus was speaking in parables, you know, one of the reasons is to hide the truth. Yeah. You got ears, but you're not hearing. Yeah. You're looking. The, the word is explaining the word to you. And you've been in, you know, you know, Pharisees and Sadducees. You've been in the Word your whole life, and you can't see it. Can't see it because I don't can't want hear to. It. I don't want to, because I got my own preconceived notions of what it is. And it's it's like instead of allowing the Word to work, they're taking it and manipulating it to be what they want. Like they got, you know, right. like like they are the Word. Like right. you know, it, and and that was just. Yeah. You know, the, the parable when he was talking about, you know, the different, the, the sower. And, and, and so Pastor was talking about, you know, it's, it's not about the sower. It's not about the sower. The, you know, it's the, it's the word and it's the, and the way that you, and the soil, the way that your heart receives the word. That was what really got me today. And then when today's part was the, the, the word being hitting the, the, the rock part that, that really, that and even in that, just hearing it, just hearing it and receiving just a little bit of it, what happened? Well, if it doesn't have nowhere to take root. Yeah, but still there was a response. There right, was a right. response to the word. Yeah, you and hear, it caused something yeah, to happen. You're amen and you're you're joyful and you know, you're praising, you're and you're standing up, jumping and running around. But if there's nothing there to take root. Yeah. What happens? What happens when 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 you when you run and you don't go nowhere? <laughs> when you when you jump but you you don't get up off the ground you know i mean when, when we the word is just that good though right. now i don't want to downplay anything about you know the goodness of the word and the and and how the word is true and and he even went into that at the end when he was when he was saying that you know the devil is a liar so if he's telling you this he's lying you know but it's and it's so how is it so easy for us and that goes to the the condition of our heart how yep. is it so easy for us to listen to the enemy and we can't hear from god well, yeah no i like i like what he said there too you know um the you know lawyer the lawyer uh the devil is telling some people yeah you're going to die you're going to do this mm -hmm. but 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 you already know and you've probably already read it 
Well, he's the father of lies. Yeah, yeah. Like, Pastor, why are you believing him? Yeah. No, you tell me I'm going to die. That tells me I'm not going to die. because you're a liar. You tell me I'm going to be broke. That tells me no, there's something coming. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you're, and his, <laughs> cause the devil is a liar. Amen. I mean, and we say that. I think sometimes we say that just out of repetition and, and you know, it's it's like a cliche, you know, or a, a little like itsy bitsy spider. Which I think we treat it like that sometimes, like, you know, like it's a fable or a nursery rhyme. Nursery rhyme, that's what I'm looking for. Like, when you say the devil is a liar, it's like, like it's, we treat it like it's a nursery rhyme, right? But right. let me tell you something. You know, our words have weight. And if we learn, learn that we're not what we're saying, we're not just saying just to be saying something, they actually carry weight. And, you know, the devil is a liar. That We need to remember that. Tell ourselves that he's lying. He's lying. So why Amen. would you believe Amen. a lie? Why would you want to believe a lie? It's, you know, and then all the everything that comes with that lie. The lies that come with that lie, and Anxiety, and it, all all stress. of that, all, all of that over over some, some lies, <laughs> over the lies. So you know, I I really like the message today. I I would say, in summing it up, I would say it was short and sweet. But we know it wasn't it wasn't you know short and sweet. But it was it was it, it, the sum summation of it uh, was this. You know, the focus of it was, you know, your how heart. your heart is, and if your heart is is got you know some stones in it and what are some of the stones you know some of the things that he talked about you know if, if you're rock if you're if you're if you have stones in your heart if there's issues in your heart one, one thing he was talking about is if you don't want to forgive and then the right. other one was submitting and then another one was giving right yeah 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 um yeah he says yeah you have no problem forgiving but you know you don't want to submit Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I knew you'd pick up on that one. I knew. I knew that would be. I knew you. You probably got it's that bolded notes. and highlighted. It's in the notes in here somewhere. It's in the notes, I believe. I am a submitted spouse. I am. I received that. <laughs> Amen. Help me, Lord. Um, but no, I, it's um, yeah. You can be hitting on eight of the ten commandments, and you're missing two of them. Well, that that that's the rock right there. That's what's not happening, and you know that 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 could be holding some stuff back, you know, because you know, on your way to church, you should be preparing yourself yep. to hear the word. Yep. Um, when you get here, walking in, you should be joyful coming into His courts. I believe so. Yes, anyway, that's what the word says. Um, and and when you get here, you know, the, the prayer, the opening prayer today was awesome. The prayers usually here, oh, you know, opening up are awesome, and you know. Uh, and then ablaze, they're just leading us into the presence of God. I know He's omnipresent, but they're just leading us there to try to get your hearts, you know, try to get your hearts, you know, in the right place. Um, but to pump you and prime you and everything—that's not their job. That's not what they're supposed to be doing. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I um, love coming into in the, the Word of God during the praise and worship, and 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 when the Word comes forth, these these two to three hours that we're here in service. I like it because those two to three hours I am with fellow believers and from and with those believers, I get my I get strength from being around believers. Iron you know? iron. Yeah, because we you know, when we're out in the world, we've got the world pulling on us. Right. And it's like and, and, and I don't want to get into next week's message, but it brings it, it brings things with it. it you know, it, it, it causes you to, to you know, the, the heat causes problems and you wither and then the, the rock causes. I'm, and there's no water there. Right. It, it doesn't give me enough water for me to continue to grow deeper and deeper in the soil. So, you know, and when things in this world happen and they pull on you, it's a lot. It can really bring you down. It can you know, I, you can know the word from Genesis to Revelation, right? right? Right. But if you don't believe the word and receive the word from Genesis to Revelations because of things being pulled, the things of the world being pulled on you, you have no root, then what what are you going to do when well, you have no root? Well, if your heart's not right, and there's not going to be any root there, and I like what Pastor said too, and he brought scripture with that one, when your heart's not right to receive the word, then the enemy's gonna come by and he snatch it away. Yeah, he's you could have got away. you could have got it at one forty five this afternoon. You could have got it and if there's no if it fell on stony ground. I don't know when he's gonna come by, but you can guarantee here very shortly he's gonna come by and snatch that away. And like Pastor said, you know, you're walking out there. Yeah, it was a great word day. What are you talking about? That was a great word today. What are you talking about? Well, they sang great today. 
Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the spirit of the Lord hit that place. Did you see all them people running and jumping and leaping? And there's nothing wrong with running and jumping and leaping. But you got to be able to have some roots so that when you walk out of these, when, they, when those Going three hours are done and you're out there and you're by yourself, you don't have the saints, you know, to, to push on you and pull on you and, and encourage you. And you, you've got to know word yourself. You've got to know the word yourself for it to help you. But this, you know, this, this word today was really good in that it tells me I need to, it, it showed me some areas where I need to check my heart and I need to dig to defend, you know, allow the word to go past the rocks and right. then get some root. I got to dig to defend. I, I saw some areas where I need to do that. I think the word should challenge you every time. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I think it should. Yep. And um, then, so, it's, you know, today was an awesome lesson, and we could we could talk about it for how long? Oh, a little bit longer. <laughs> at least 20, 30 <laughs> more minutes. 20, 30, 40, 40. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> but it was an awesome word. So I hope that we have um, given you just enough to say, oh, that was good to go back and listen to the word to, from today. Listen to the word from last week and prepare your hearts for what's coming next week because I'm excited about next week. Wonder, wonder what the heart test is going to be about next week. I'm excited. Uh, what about you? I'm excited too. Well, and God willing, we'll be here. We'll be here. But in the meantime, we just want to let you know, here, here comes, comes the, the church. church.